Hello friends and um, welcome to my birthday. <laughs> I just kind of rolled out of bed with my child. It's like 11 a.m. So we've been awake while well, she was napping, but I was just reading in bed in the dark and I just feel like now I'm in the light and my hair is all disheveled and I'm still, still in my pajamas, but it's been a nice start to my, it's been kind of like a melancholic start to my birthday. The book I'm reading is, hi Jane, she's like coming over to hang out by the phone. <laughs> I know, you really want to eat the phone. Um, it's, the book I just read, it was called In Order to Live, and I've posted about it on Instagram stories, but it's about a woman who defected from North Korea, and it's really moving, and I think that's probably like 90% of the reason that my mood is a little bit melancholic this morning. Um, but I think we're gonna have, it's a Thursday, it's, you know, pretty low-key day to have a birthday. We're gonna just do some errands, some general chores, and I don't know, maybe have a nice meal tonight, I'm not really sure about that. I haven't decided if I'm cooking my own meal or not, Michael has a late, late night at work, so. Yeah, we're just gonna hang out and do some chill things, maybe I'll even go to Toastmasters, because it's Thursday, we'll see how it goes. What do you think, Jane? It was also occurring to me that I call this a vlog, but I have pretty much not done any vlogs. <laughs> so this is just going to be like a vlog style video. Again, it's probably going to be like pretty, my pretty standard. Um, my 32nd birthday on a Thursday, it's going to be like a pretty, pretty low key, I think. But I thought it'd be fun to film the experience. Hi Jane. Anyway. <laughs> I just had to share this because it's pretty cute. This is part of the <laughs> the gift that Michael got me. Jan Snoo and Dare. That's, yeah. Birthday. I love that. Oh, I see we're fighting over this. I love that she wrote me a very nice note, and that just uh, boosts my boosts my spirit today. Thanks, Granny. I love that I actually received the. Um, letter from my grandparents directly on my birthday. I wonder if they timed that. That's pretty impressive. So it is the afternoon. It's like four in the afternoon and we've done some errands and yeah, they were pretty fun errands, hey? And um, yeah, just like standard stuff. We went to the bank, we bought some groceries. I think I'm going to cook myself a birthday meal. Um, again, Michael's coming home a little bit later, so we won't be able to like, you know, really, really live it up, but I can cook a meal that we can enjoy. And I think we're just going to like lounge in front of Netflix for a couple hours this evening and be very, very... <laughs> Sorry, she's like climbing while we do... Oh, there she goes. She started pulling up on everything recently. Actually, the same day she started crawling was the same day that she started pulling up onto literally everything. She's great at pulling up. Hi! <laughs> she's less great at getting down, but that's a, it's a work in progress. Good job, Jane. That's some good standing. Turning 32 is kind of interesting, too. It's... My first birthday being a mother, and that's like, I think that's part of the reason that I have a little bit of melancholy with everything, because I think about like, it's hard not to like think about your birthday and then think about all the, the freedoms, like the so-called freedoms that you used to enjoy, and she's pretty tethered to me, even now. Um, I don't know why I say even now, obviously babies are a lot of need and work for a while, um, but I'm in the thick of it, so sometimes I feel like I'm in the midst of just this like crazy endurance race until she gets a little bit more self-sufficient. I don't even know how long that race is. Like, maybe... That's a block. A lot of people tell me that um, when they, like around two years old is when things start getting a little bit easier. Um, difficult in, in other ways, but um, like by that point you're over the like baby, like all the crazy baby stuff. So I don't know, like I know that each stage is gonna have its own sets of challenges and problems and things like that. But I also know from teaching piano to kids for many, many years is that like dealing with a six-year-old is a lot different than dealing with an infant. So um, yeah, so <laughs> I feel like I'm just in like the middle of this crazy baby thing where um, I'm just with her all the time, all the time. And it's cool, like like 95% of the time, I'm, 
I like our routines and I'm oh. cool with it. See, this is what I'm talking about. She doesn't know how to get back down. <laughs> you need help? There you go. Good job. I don't even know. Like, I kind of lost my train of thought there. Um, I've been, I think another reason that turning 32 is a little bit like bittersweet is because I was thinking about it in terms of like it being my 16th birthday times two. And it, I've just been spending a lot of time thinking about and reflecting on the past and being 16. And it's crazy to think that I've lived like another 16 years since then, like two. It, it's just really bizarre. Cause when I think of my life from zero to 16, it seems so distant. But when I think of 16 to now, it seems so like no time at all has passed. I feel like, I don't know. It's just time goes by so quickly and it's terrifying. And then people say that when you have kids, time goes by even faster, which is even more terrifying. Um, not only because I don't want to miss things, but also just because, because I've always thought that when time goes by really fast like that, it's because everything is really samey. Um, if every day is exactly the same, huh, nine inch nails, apparently I'm going back to 2004 with that one. Um, but if every day is exactly the same, then you're not creating memories and memories are what stretch out your life. So if you have a whole bunch of memories, then it seems like you've lived more than if you have very few memories because you've been doing the exact same thing every day. So the idea of time going by really fast makes me... I don't know, just think about like how, how, how to build more memories, like how to live my life in a way where I'm creating memories and not just, you know, doing the exact same thing every day, which is kind of what I do. So I have to start learning how to get outside of that a little bit. And I know one way to create memories is to have novel experiences. So like do different things, um, like switch up your routine, even if it's something as simple as um, going on a new walking route or just like anything different. It just... Uh, yeah. Oh, you're going for my phone. And Jane's been pretty sick too. She's had a cold for, well, over a week now, actually. It's kind of been evolving. It it feels like it's tapering off, except now she's got a bit of a cough, which is, I don't know. I, she's never had a cough before. She's never had like a, like a sore voice where she sounds raspy. Oh, good sit. There, I helped you sit down a little bit. So it's been kind of sad and like also a little worrying. There's just I was thinking too, I, I got like a, like I went to the spa the other day and it was so relaxing. It was just, it made me realize how stressed out I am without even being aware of it so much of the time. Just like, it just little, so like with having a sick baby, it's just like, there's this constant low lying stress. I've never dealt with this before. It's like, is she okay? Like, what if this is something serious and I'm not treating as it's, it is if it's serious or like, it's just like all these things that are constantly running through my mind all day long or like, um, like, why isn't she napping or why is she like snoring like that? It's just cause she's congested or is it something more? It's just like the constant stream of anxious thoughts which makes it seem a lot more dramatic than it is it's not like i'm experiencing this like raw debilitating anxiety or anything like that but even without it being debilitating it's still it's still a lot i don't know for those of you who are like parents and you have more than one child when you go through the whole thing again does the like worrying about everything go away because i feel like it has to i feel like it's not sustainable to like worry about all the little things and I'd like to come out to the other side and I think about it a lot but thinking about it isn't the same as actually doing it so this is kind of turning into like a like a like very deep <laughs> um I don't know moody moody birthday um video but no I I just yeah this is just what's going on today I decided to make a vegan mac and cheese for my supper tonight with lots and lots of Brussels sprouts because what in the world is better than sauteed Brussels sprouts? The answer is actually nothing, um, except maybe mac and cheese. <laughs> but I wanted to cook now so that when Michael comes home and we have his parents babysit, we can just like reheat everything. We don't have to worry about cooking, but we can eat better food than what we would get for takeout in my small town. <laughs> Michael got me a card. Am I allowed to open it on camera? Is that embarrassing? <laughs> You can open it on camera. <laughs> I probably won't. It's somewhat of a family tradition to get scratch tickets in one's card. <laughs> Got some very patriotic, fuzzy winter socks, which is wonderful. Gonna enjoy a bowl of ice cream with ice cream in it. <laughs> this is banana ice cream, which is like the mushier looking part with like 
coconut ice cream added on top because that's just how I roll. And some television. So I just started smearing my face with the cleanser, and then I realized that I haven't actually signed out and said goodbye yet. I am packing it in early. It is like, it is like seven o'clock right now, and I'm already cleaning up for bed. I'm just gonna like get cozy, do some reading. Michael's gonna give Jane a bath. This is what's all over my face, by the way. I like to use a cleansing oil as well as a actual cleanser just because I feel like it breaks down. Breaks down things a little better. I don't know. I, <laughs> this is why is this turning into like a, a nighttime skincare routine <laughs> video. I gotta get out of the bathroom. I'm just gonna have to deal with my my shiny face right now. So um, yeah, thank you for watching this video. It was really <laughs> what I predicted. Incredibly ordinary, but with like a little bit of a little bit of melancholy thrown in there. Um, I appreciate you hanging out with me through it though. It makes me, uh, I just finished watching a Snapchat of my parents doing an acapella harmonized happy birthday for me. So that was really, really kind. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, I will talk to you guys in the next video. I should also mention too, in case I seem like really sad or something like that, that um, I am going to have a birthday party on the weekend. It's just, this is like my middle of the week towards the end of the week birthday. So I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a video on that when I actually <laughs> have events to do. But yeah, I just thought I'd throw that in there. Okay. Bye for reals.